All right, welcome, welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And first of all, it is Jamaica zero, Canada five. Um, I will be getting back. Um, so stick around. I'll be getting back to the, the, the full highlights, so you guys will see the highlights of the game. But most definitely, I just want to discuss some stuff. So this is actually highlights and post match review. Um, but most definitely, so before you do anything, guys, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. And this you can follow us on our socials at MG Sports Media and uh, on Instagram and also on Twitter and also on Facebook. It's the same thing on Facebook. So follow us, people, and drop us uh, a like on our most recent um, post. But let's get on to this. As I said, I'll be getting to the, the, the highlights. You guys will see the highlights. So, um, as a son, uh, we just kicked off the under, under 15 championship um, in a bad stand, actually. This, this was actually the group of that. Struggling to see how we're going to come out of this group because um, we are going to face some really, really tough, tough opponents. Not, nonetheless, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't try our best or try to do our best because that is how football is. But so as um, as I stand, we kicked off the first game against Canada. Um, let me bring let me bring it up. First game was kicked off against Canada. Um, not the result that we'd want. Um, not the performance, but what most definitely it would highlight the level that we are right now. So let's get it off right away so you guys can see. So this is the first goal by playing the left, the right side channel um, in between the right back um, and the right winger. You can see the right back trying to get back there. But look at the goalkeeper. Um, I would say that's poor positioning. but That's good positioning, but that, that she shouldn't have been gotten beaten right there. I, I strongly believe so, but in the same sense, um, she was left, she's left really exposed right there because even in the same sense, if the attacker decides she want to bring the ball across, it, it would be way too much exposed for her. Um, I do think she was caught in um, two mind in regards to going across, um, covering the, the, the next player and I'm um, saying at her front four. So that could be one of the reasons. Um, good goal, real goal. This year, I totally believe this has a lot to do with training. Um, and coaching, I should say. We have four players here, isolated, um, I, uh, and one, two, three players isolated by themselves. Um, and look at that pass. This is what we call a tremendous pass inside the channel. No, it's one v one with the goalkeeper. She had no chance. No, we conceded five goals. She made some. I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna. They didn't show. They didn't show the saves that the goalkeeper made. She made some tremendous save throughout the game. It's just unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. Um, so that, that goal is scored by Kira Martin. It's just really unfortunate in regards to um the goals that we end up concede. Just poor defensive work there. Uh, at no point time we can have I've seen so far. Uh, let me bring that back. Let me bring that back just a little bit. It's just we being exposed defensively. So we have one, two, three players and the ball played through the channel goalkeeper alone now we have one two three four players chasing no positional awareness none um it's a transition yes but why are the players so close to each other no position um positional awareness right there so i do believe that that has to do with some coaching coaches have a lot of work to do um um this goal is a tremendous goal screamer from about phew, that's out 19 20 yards out top bins beautiful goal top bins top bins let me bring that back let me bring that let me bring back that, let me bring that one back at five jamaica zero and a really good um out, uh, really really good out um outing by the canadian team i strongly believe that we have a lot of work to do um questions can be asked in regards to team selection, question can be asked in regards to what is that mode of coaching. Um, from what I know, from what I know, I know that I knew for a fact that the, the, the training session, well, not for a fact, but the training session was like about two weeks. Um, they had to prepare a team and sufficiently that's not enough. I believe strongly that that is definitely not enough. Uh, this is what the, this is the results that you're going to see if you don't put in proper training, proper um, facilities, and then now you look at it. The only female football competition that is taking place right now, I believe, is the Reina's Cup. 
uh, that's just um, some organizers put something together. It's not an official JFF uh, or footballing body in Jamaica um, competition, just one in which um, people see it necessary to put this thing together. So these are areas that we need to fix. These are areas of football in Jamaica that we need to fix. And this is the result of us not putting things in place. Yes, the Premier League start. Many, we, we didn't do anything in many, many regards of football in Jamaica. But if we are going to compete at all level, it cannot be only one type of football which would restart. It has to be an holistic value because we will be participating on a holistic value. If that is the case, there's no female football taking place, most definitely try our best to see how we can um, outsource players who we can, who are playing football at this present moment rather than players who are not playing. It makes no sense. It really makes no sense. We don't have the club fem female club football going on right now. I do hope and pray that we see that coming play, coming this um, football season, which is way down in October for some reason. But these are things that we have to discuss. These are things that we have to look at. So, people, I'm going to close up. I'm going to finish finish up um, with the the rest of the of the video, so you guys can see. Let me go back. We have a lot of work to do, people. We have a lot of work to do, and um, we'll see because definitely this has to be some level of just participation. As you know, we have to um, feel a team in this competition. We have also, I think, the men's under seventeen coming up quite soon. Is it under seventeen? Is it under seventeen? I believe it's under seventeen or under fifteen. I'm, I'm, I can't remember, but most definitely, play, I think it's under seventeen. Yes, I believe it's under seventeen. But most definitely, people are um, looking forward to, to to see what um, the next game has. So next game is actually against the USA tomorrow morning, seven forty-five. Most definitely, we will be here for the watch along again. So look out for that one, people. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Until next time, people. I'll see you guys again. We are out. Military Guna, like, share, and also subscribe if you like the video, people. And until next time, hit the notification bell so you get the latest updates. We are out, people. Boom.